Hi there! Welcome to Daisy Farm Crafts and I'm Tiffany and I'm going to do a really quick tutorial to show you how to get your hearts started on Hannah's little mint in white heart blanket. The pattern, the complete pattern is on our website. If you are only seeing this on YouTube, you'll want to look in the descriptions down below and find the link that takes you to the website for the pattern. So what I've done is started with a chain of 31. The pattern repeat is 10 plus one. You'll start in the third chain from the hook with a regular half double crochet. And I just go ahead and work underneath that top loop. So I'm yarning over, inserting my hook, yarning over, pulling up a loop, and then pulling through all three loops. So work one half double crochet in each chain across the row. At the end of the row, you will chain two and turn your work. And now we will start working what we call a wide half double crochet. Um, some t and also we have called it in between the posts, half double crochet. All I'm going to be doing is inserting my hook under all the three loops of that half double crochet stitch and in between the post of the next one. So a wide half double crochet. We will work nine and then we'll add some color start at the, just the bottom point of that heart. So I'm working underneath all of the loops there. Show you again, in between the two posts and underneath all of the loops. Here's number six. Seven, eight, now on nine, go ahead and insert your hook and pull up a loop, but let's stop right there. Let's keep our green, soft green color towards the front while we grab our white and I simply lay it over the hook and I'm gonna pull it through, get that started. Now, Keep the tail to the back. We just, for this one, we're just going to work one half double crochet, still working a wide half double crochet. I'm carrying this green with me because right away I'm going to have to stop. I'll leave the white to the back. I'll pull up that green and carry it with me. Okay, now. We've got to carry this white with us because uh, we need to use it again in the um, on the next tenth stitch. So that was stitch number ten. Let's count nine again. Here's one, and I'm I've just got this white carrying along the row. It's very similar if you've seen me um, seen us make the gingham blankets. It's the same same technique here that we're using. So that, that it's coming right along with me and I try to pull it tight and against the row so it can be really hidden in there. That was stitch number five. Here we go, let's do six. Seven, number eight, and here's number nine. Okay, so same thing. Let's go ahead and pull that green towards the front, pull the white through, work the tenth stitch with the white.
Stop right there. I just let the white go to the back. Pull through. All right, it's completely up to you if you want to carry the white to the end of the row. Now, of course, the pattern, um, I think there's seven hearts across, so the base chain was 71 or 81, I think. Um, and it's it's going to be up to you if you want to carry that white. I think I'll just leave it behind, and I'll show you how to pick it back up when we um, turn. I want to get to the corner here and show you the one thing I do love about this pattern, if you've never used this stitch before, the last stitch of the row is in between the last post and the turning chain. And that really helps you to keep the sides of the blanket straight. If you always remember to um, hit that spot. So here we go. Here's the last two posts. But you've got these two turning chains over here. Go ahead and insert your hook underneath them. And that's your last stitch of the row. All right, so here's the post and here's the turning chain. Make sure your last stitch is right there. And you will be so happy because the sides of your blanket will stay straight. Okay, now we've got to go and put white on either side and start building up our heart. So you're going to want to look ahead two stitches before the white, and that will give you the clue that this is the stitch that you're gonna stop. You're going to pull the white up and through, and that's okay that it's kind of crossed over there because now you've still gotta carry your, your green with you across. But just make sure that you work that stitch to the one side of the white. And then we're going to work to the other side. And that puts us the two V's on either side. Let's leave the white to the back. Go ahead and pull through with the green. Now continue. Now we need to carry the white with us. So keep going across. Really, once you get your base row of the one stitch on the 10th stitch and you start that base, I just think you don't need to worry so much about counting. It's because you're just going to be building. And so you'll know When it's, um, you know, if you've got it in the wrong stitch. Okay, so here we go. It's two before the white. That will tell me I'm going to yarn over. Stop right there. I will pull my green to the front. Pull through with the white. Now I'll work the next stitch. And then I'll work the next stitch after. Drop the white. Now, of course, like as if you're in the middle of the blanket, you'll still continue to carry the white with you. But since I'm towards the end and we're just doing a little sample, I'll drop my white and pick it up the next time. But if you're more comfortable carrying it all the way to the end and, and then and bringing it back, go ahead and do that. Okay, we're gonna build this again on the next row. Make sure you hit that last spot. Remember about the, the last stitch on the row. It's gonna be in between this post and the turning chain. So let's build again on the other side of these two white ones. I'm two stitches before. That tells me that it's time to stop right there. Pull through with the white. Carry this green with me. Go ahead and work. One, now we're in between the two whites right there. And we'll have three white across. Stop right there. Pull through with green. 
There's our three white stitches. Okay, continue and do that on the next heart. All right, how's it going? Here I am, two more about to, to start and I'm gonna put four on this row. Building my little heart, so stop right there, pull the green. And we're gonna build this heart um, at this kind of like this V looking shape, the bottom of it, for si until it's six stitches across. So I'm gonna let you get to it and I'll come back on when we have six stitches of cross, and then that's when um, we'll add a little gap in it. Show you what to do, okay? So you keep working until there are, you've got your six white stitches across. So I have six white stitches done on each of my heart. So this will be, we're going to make seven here. So what's different is, well, I'm still starting to, you know, I see the two green before the white. And so I know that that's the stitch. I need to pull up my white, pull through, carry my green along there, work. Underneath that, there's number one. Here's the two. Now stop in the third one. Leave your white, pull through with your green, pull your white with you, work one green, change back to white, that's stitch number four. Now work three more in the white. Five, six, and seven. Stop, pull back through with the green. Now work your way over to the other one. Here we go. It's two before, and I'm carrying my white with me. You see those two green? So that tells me it's time to pull up with my white, cross the green in front, pull through with my white. Here we go, one, two, and three, almost more like two and a half because I'm going to stop. I'm going to pull through with the green. Let's work one, keep that green forward. That keeps your yarn from twisting. And work three more. Okay, we have one more row of white to do, and then oh, we're done making the heart, the little hearts, and you get to do four rows of all green. Take a little break from all your making of hearts. Okay. Now this will be the only time where you actually will work right up and and you want to switch in just the one green before the, the pink. Uh, pink, white. So here's my green. I mean, I'm one stitch before. I'm going to pull through with the white. Work two white in a row. One, two. Pull through with green, work two green, one, basically you're working on either side of that green from the row below, two, now finish with two more white, one, 
one, two, Okay, let's do this again. I'll show you on the next one. Here we go. We're going to change colors this time, not when there's two green, but when there's one. Stop. Pull through. Let's work two white. One, two, stop. Let's get two green on either side of the green from the row below. So that might give you a another hint of if you're if you're off account, you want a green on either side of this green from the row below. Stop right there. Two white, stop, pull through with green, and you're done. Phew. Although, huh, when you do the real blanket, you're going to have eight or nine across. I can't remember. I don't have Hannah's blanket with me. She doesn't live um, by me, and so... We wanted to get this video done and get the tutorial up so you could start making this blanket in case you have a Valentine's Day baby coming up. But I still think hearts are good for any baby. And this blanket is so adorable. Of course, you can see all the pictures, the big, um, you know, of it finished on our website. Oh, see, look at that. That is just so cute. Now, I don't know if you can see this. I um, did another swatch in pink and gray at first. This is Red Heart Dreamy. It's a little bit fuzzier, and it's um, bigger um, yarn. This is five weight, and it's made with this. This is Karen Simply Soft, which is a four weight. Both are acrylic. Both are washable. Very baby friendly. But anyway, just to give you a difference. And, of course, on this one, I just, I just put the one in the middle. But this is another good colorway that you could do. So... Anyway, good luck on your blanket. Um, you will have to go to our website uh, if you need instruction on how to do the border that Hannah did. I'm not going to show you that in our in this video because we already have a video of it on a different blanket that we did. And that will be linked in the website. So just click that link if you're on YouTube. Go to our website, daisyfarmcrafts.com, and um, all the instructions and stuff will be there so anyway i hope this was helpful you know i think i said you know you're just going to change it you can take give yourself a break give yourself a break you do not have to carry the white for four rows now you're just going to work that regular wide half double crochet across the row all right thank you so much for coming by and we will see you next time